Today, we learn how much gold a D&D adventurer can actually carry, and the result is seriously surprising. I actually mean that. And this time, we're going indoors. Last Friday, I saw this video by Shadowversity. How many gold coins can an adventurer carry tested with real coins? And like whenever I watch Shad's videos, I laughed, I cried. But he didn't actually use the calculation for coin weight in 5e Dungeons and Dragons, so I will. Hey, I'm Bob, and I have a handful of these D&D IRL videos in a playlist linked below where my fiance, my friend, and myself test out rules from D&D. One, two, three, Wait. four, <laughs> five. In real life. And this very topic of how much gold can adventurers carry has been suggested since the beginning of the series, and I was already planning to include conversions from weight to coins in our upcoming video on D&D's variant encumbrance rules. In fact, I already have, what's this behind your ear? Some of these awesome real metal fantasy coins from the sponsor for that video, but let's just do it here. If you already like props or would just love to Toss a coin to your witcher. Or your player, when their character finds some loot, look no further than True Black Forge. Solid iron and brass coins that look, feel, and smell, seriously, like real coins, because they are. And they make these really cool glass gems for when the gold weighs too much. Arthur, their forge master, was kind enough to give 10% off with the code GOBOBGO. So check out True Black Forge through the link below. Now, despite having over a hundred of these awesome fantasy coins, Shad and I have the same problem. We don't have real gold. Oh, the thing is, these aren't real gold. He managed to get 1,000 Australian dollar coins, but it kind of made the math hard to follow, and he mostly referenced gold in World of Warcraft and Skyrim. But we're talking D&D. And in D&D, the math is very simple. 50 coins of any kind, copper, silver, gold, platinum, and the weird one that nobody uses, always weigh one pound. This works in D&D because even though the metals have different densities, the coins are very different sizes and shapes. And please, let's give a round of applause to our rules lord, Jeremy Crawford, for keeping this one simple. If you remember from the video where we calculated our actual strength scores, a commoner with a strength score of 10 can technically carry up to 150 pounds no problem. So, if said commoner is wearing common clothes, three pounds, and carrying a sack, half pound, for all the gold, then that 10 strength commoner can still carry an additional 146.5 pounds, or 7,325 gold coins. They're gonna need a tougher sack. And that's a Shadowversity joke if I ever heard one. So, oh, let's come and have a feel of the way just the pouch on its own. Now, touch my pouch. Hi. That's a heavy pouch. That's a bit of a heavy pouch, isn't it? <laughs> but let's back up. We want to know how much an adventurer can carry. And the most straightforward way I could come up with to figure this out was to start by averaging the weight of the starting equipment for every class and background in the player's handbook. But that seemed too hard because, as many of you know, math is not my strong suit. Because I realized I made a grievous math error. So instead, I began with this old article about the most popular character builds on D&D Beyond, which shows the top race class combo to be a human fighter. I don't know if this is still the most popular build, but in any case, this is probably the character that your party is going to force to carry all the gold. To get the strength score for our level 1 human fighter, I chose the 15 from the standard array with a plus 1 racial bonus for a total of 16, and a ridiculous carrying capacity of 240 pounds. Now, to be conservative with our final estimate for gold, I chose the heaviest possible options from the fighter starting equipment. Chainmail, 55 pounds, two martial weapons, pike, and another pike, combined 36 pounds. Light crossbow and 20 bolts, combined 6.5 pounds. Dungeoneer's pack, including backpack, crowbar, hammer, 10 pythons, pythons, but 10 torches, tinderbox, 10 days of rations, water skin, and 50 feet of hempen rope, combined weight, 61.5 pounds. Don't forget our background. I chose the soldier because it's recommended in the fighter quick build, and that equipment adds up to five pounds. So, excluding the weight of their own starting gold, our average adventurer 
a level one human soldier fighter is already carrying 164 pounds. This means they can still hold 76 pounds without exceeding their carrying capacity, and 76 pounds at 50 coins per pound comes out to 3,800 gold coins. Which begs the question, what does a volume of 3,800 coins look like? Because we haven't technically included the weight for a container for all that gold. So, to once again go for a conservative and simple estimation, instead of 3,800 individual coins, let's think about this 76 pounds of gold as a single complete volume. And since we're going off book, this is where I actually want you, my backup nerds, to check my math because I really found this result surprising. Google says the density of gold is 19.3 grams per centimeter cubed. For a quick comparison, water is the standard of one gram per centimeter cubed, so gold is very heavy. Google also says 19.3 grams per centimeter cubed is equal to 42.55 pounds per liter which I chose because I find liters easy to visualize. Half a big soda bottle. And if we get one extra sturdy backpack that still weighs five pounds, but can hold more than the 30 pounds as written, we are down to carrying 71 pounds of gold. Divide that by 42.55 pounds per liter, and we get a measly 1.669 liters of gold. Nearly 4,000 gold pieces worth fitting inside a two liter bottle? Even if this were coins, it would easily fit in the backpack, which holds 28 liters. So if this video gets 2000 likes in 24 hours, I will literally buy a few thousand poker chips or something for us to carry around with the actual weight during our upcoming encumbrance test. So please give this video a thumbs up, support our sponsors, True Black Forge and Describe, and keep building.